Well, hey, hey, guys, welcome to the studio. Today we have a song that has a little bit of an issue with the vocals being a little bit too resonant, which means that they're possibly hollow sounding or a little bit round sounding. We're going to try to get some additional clarity out of it. We're going to approach it in three different ways. Let's get to it. Today we're looking at a song, this is from Finton Scanlon, and this is from our discussion that we were having in our Facebook group, Recording Tips, regarding this issue. If you're looking for a cool place and you like this type of discussion, Recording Tips on Facebook. Here we are in Ableton, I'm in the center section of the song, the vocals are already mixed in along with the piano. We're going to hear a short segment before I start working on it. You will not see me stopping here To watch his woods fill up with snow and Right there, the word snow, he pointed out. Right here. It's snow. It's snow. Okay, I'm going to actually address a different part of the vocal where we have the vocal a little bit louder than the piano. His house is in the village door. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do, step one, EQ8. Native 8-band EQ from Ableton. Now here we're going to see what it looks like. The vocal is mixed a lot louder than the piano, so we should be getting a pretty clear feeling of how this works. Ideally, we would want to do this on just the vocal tracks. In preparing for today's video, though, this was what I had my hands on. He will be sending me the independent vocal tracks, and so, but the process will be about the same. Let's take a look at it. His house is in the village door. You will not see me stopping here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the band on the far left hand side and switch it over to a filter. And I'm going to make it fairly steep. They do have one that is a little bit steeper. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to trim out some of these bass frequencies that are not doing anything for what we're hearing. Anything below about 80 hertz or so is not doing anything for what we're hearing. His house is in the village and you can see there is some information happening down here. Here's a hundred hertz line right here. We're concerned with just below that. Anything you see here is just mud. His house is in the village so I'm going to bring this up to about 80 hertz. You probably won't hear an actual difference, but this is just sort of a step one. His house is in the village door. And here's bypassed. His house is in the village door. And with EQ. His house is in the village door. Okay, now we can take a look at the vocal itself. Hello. There we are. Okay, I'm hearing this is sort of a round resonant, kind of a hollow, muddy kind of sound. This means that it's probably in the mid-range around maybe 600 hertz up to maybe 1k. It's just got a little bit too much of this and it's really from the room that he recorded it in, we think. So we're going to be watching the chart right here in this area. His house is in the village door. Peak. You will not see me stopping here. Okay, so we see what looks like about a bunch of mountain peaks. The lowest one you see, that's the actual note that he's singing. And the additional peaks that flow off to the right are his harmonics, the character and the timbre of his voice. 
some of it is being overly resonated by the room he's in. We're going to see if we can isolate a bad one. His house is in the village door. Right here. This was a louder peak than the actual note that he was singing. The actual note was down here. His house is in the village door. And I know you are hearing harmonies there, so we do have a couple fundamental actual notes, but I'm hearing this right around here. So I'm going to look at my EQ again, and I'm going to say I'm on band two. The first thing I'm going to do is increase the resonance or what they call Q. Q is short for quality. And this is going to give me a little bit of a tighter band rather than being a real flat boost. It'll really help me target what's going on here. And my first goal is to look for the bad the bad man. Where's the bad man? The bad man is here. His house is in the village door. And by turning this up and adjusting my resonance a hair wider, it should start sounding fairly awful. His house is in the village door. You will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. Just gonna widen up the resonance a hair more. His house is in the village door. You will not see me stopping here oh. to watch his woods fill. Right there. And let me bypass this so you can hear the difference. Here's the normal vocal. His house is in the village door. And now I'm boosting. I'm guessing probably about 600 hertz. His house is in the village door. I take that back. I'm actually at closer to 400 hertz. His house is... And so what I can do is, now that I know that's sort of where the culprit is, without changing where it is on the left to right spectrum, I want to leave it around that 400 hertz. I'm going to bring it down... And again, I'm going to do the thing where I can kind of uh, change the resonance of it a hair. So it's very selective. It's not going to be removing other frequencies other than that one. His house is in the village door. You will not see me stopping here. Okay, let's A-B this. Here's without the EQ. And because I've removed something, you'll actually hear overall it'll sound a little bit quieter but listen for the quality not the volume here's no eq his house is in the village door here's with eq his house is in the village door okay i'm also hearing uh i'm also hearing that it has a little bit of an s sound so we're going to leave this eq the way it is we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring up a de -esser. So here's what I have. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit better if I can. We have this set for about 5K. What I'm watching for is this meter here that's going to show how much it's turning down the frequencies at 5K, but only when it hears 5K. And the reason that we do that instead of just EQing it is actually fairly simple. When he's not saying an S, or a hard G, like village, that kind of sound that, that's in there. We don't want that EQ'd out. We love that part of his voice. But when he does say an S, or that G sound, at that moment it becomes a little bit too much. And that's what a de -er does. It only turns it down when it hears that sound go above the threshold that we tell it. So we move the threshold and say, look, anything in that frequency that goes louder than where we set the bar, turn down only that frequency and only while you hear it being a problem. And we can watch that on this meter right here. When it goes red, it's doing its job. His house is in the village door. House is in the, is in, and you'll watch house is in, and you'll see that meter come down. His house is in the village door. And village. You will not see me 
stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. Okay. The final step that, that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in uh, an SSL channel. And you can see that I'm already starting to trim out some of that bass frequencies below 80 hertz. We already did it in EQ8. It doesn't hurt to have us do a little bit more reduction down in those frequencies. And I'm going to watch the EQ here, but this is a little bit different than the reason that we used EQ8. On this channel strip, I also have the ability to do gating, which I'm not going to use, compression, which I might use maybe, uh, but it also has a saturator on it, and saturators are distortion, and it's intentional. And you might be thinking, why on earth would you distort something so beautifully? Because everything that you've heard growing up, music from the 60s and 70s and the 80s was all done analog, and it all had a little bit of an analog saturation from being recorded to tape or going through an analog mixer, and it's actually fairly pleasing sounding to listen to. We'll be emulating that with the drive circuit here. His house is in the village okay, looks pretty good on the meter. I'm going to bring in a ton of this saturation. You're not going to like it because I'm going to way overdo it. And you can see right here, that's the drive knob that I have an actual physical knob here for. So let me creep this up. His house is in the village Okay, now I automatically don't like it, but I can sweep around the different character that this may have, which you're seeing right here, go from positive to negative. And I'm just finding, even though it's overly distorted right now, where is it most pleasing to the ear in terms of the character of it? So let me start in the center. I'll go left. His house is in the village door. Very warm. You will not see. Stopping here. Ooh, very AM radio. Fill up with snow. In the middle, it's kind of both. His house is in the village oh, I like that. You will not see me stopping here. Okay, now I'm gonna. I had to drive almost all the way up. I had it at 7.8 out of 10. I'm gonna creep it up. His house is in the Too much. To watch his woods fill up with snow. Now my ears are telling me around 5.8. Given more time, I might go back and tweak the EQ a little bit more. I might even add some compression to it, but I don't I'm not hearing that compression would do anything to our benefit. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I always have fun putting this stuff together. I'm happy to help out the members in our Facebook group recording tips. So please head on over there and join. And we got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it.